Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Factorio, shall we? Alright. Well, um, I got some good feedback, you know, and apparently there's you know, different philosophies about smelting iron. And some people... Uh, wait a minute. Oh, I must have stopped putting this here uh let me see and then this wraps around just to go here interesting no 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 no. here's what i need to do is this full no it's not full it'll take it when it can it's fine um, but i don't want this to back up so let me look. I can easily... You know, just put that there. And then gets rid of that problem. But... Some people were saying they like to turn their iron into plates at their patch. Like wherever, you know, they're looking uh, right at the... This station, for example they would just smelt and send back on the train iron plates and i totally understand that and then others are saying you know you can just send the ore back and then you just keep one smelting place so you don't have to build a smelter at every single um ore node and i think both ways make a lot of sense i i totally understand what was i doing here looks like i was taking up fuel or coal but i don't need to do that anymore or no, I was sending this down, but I don't do that anymore. Or I think I just maybe made a mistake right here. I'm not sure. Let's do that. Okay. Anyway. Um, let me see if... I hope that this track was never meant to... Uh, have something else on it that this was only an iron ore belt i think it is yeah it is it's fine so sending it on both lanes is just fine all right another thing i want to look at is all right let's look at this track here right and it's so if you see that it's like um i wonder if i can so from this tooltip I'm wondering if... Oh, whoops. <laughs> That's funny. I started this, but I didn't build it to be expanded very well. I need to kind of redo this if I want to make that happen. Anyway. Um, what we're going to do is... I'm looking to see if, like... Okay, this is what I'm making is a rail. It takes a stone, a plate, and a stick. And it takes 0.5 seconds. Um, and it's... The raw material... Um, is 0.7 seconds. But I'm going to need... You know... More of one ingredient than the other. So my ratio is probably off of like... Okay, I'm making you know, two steel right here, and then I have two sticks, but this might not be an exact distribution. So I'm going to kind of just, I don't, I don't think I can see how fast each ingredient will be consumed, or if instead what I need to do is be looking at how long it takes for that to be made. Anyway, let me look at this. So I'm sending this line here, and let's say, you know, I want to make another one like this and you know we can whoop. this needs power of course and then All right. Oh, the power poles. All right. 
So now we're getting even more tracks. And let me go to this and we'll just build a, for the time being, place to put this. And we could start storing a million tracks. But I know I need tracks for the science. All right. So we'll see very quickly, like, what is giving enough and what's not. So one of the things I, I just would like to keep practicing with this game as I attempt to get better at it uh, is scaling and thinking larger. So I'm going to first of all just build these tracks all the way down here and do this like that. And I'm going to build that and then uh, we will just deconstruct that. And that. I'm doing this just to make space. And then I'm going to copy this and ah. I didn't copy enough, or I copied too much. Oh, both, I guess. Anyway, we'll put this here. And then all I need is this, this, and this. And this will start making. And then let me see if I can actually... No, no, no. Okay, I'm going to need to build this like that, and then... Oh, but that's going the wrong way. There we go. Alright, so there's a lot of tracks. I'm going to try to make all of this happen. I think the robots are all getting this and they just take a while to get around, but they'll eventually make this happen. And then I could quite quickly see what was in the comments, which is that I have plenty of sticks, but nowhere near enough steel. So the nice thing is I can just use undergrounds. Well, no, let's not even bother with that. Um, we'll use an underground for here to here. And then I'm just going to kind of like copy this. And right, it doesn't work anymore. So this is a bad design. This doesn't scale because this belt gets in the way. Unless it doesn't. Unless all I have to do is... Uh, take this down to here then I have enough room for this belt and then I can paste this but we'll put it here now actually I was going to replace this with long handed inserters but this long handed inserter could grab that just fine on the rock belt and it it should get what we need when it needs it. Yeah, there he goes. There it goes. All right, so... Um, let me kind of copy this and just... Well... 
Let's see here. Alright. So theoretically this will work. I need some electric furnaces. Sure. I could actually use regular furnaces considering coincidentally I just have a coal line right here. But none of these are making steel because all of the steel has stopped. There is no iron coming in. So again, we run into the same issue. Now, is it because my trains aren't moving? What's going on over here? It's automatic, but it's it's filling up. And this one is slowly filling up, but not very good. All right. So I think then let's look out. Let's look at the map. I think it's time to go over here, maybe. And bring in this iron ore. And, I mean, look what we did with my copper smelting area. It's just way better than my current iron smelting area. So maybe I'll bring in more iron and, and get it smelted. Or, what I can do is try the new setup of bringing smelters to this. This is 4.7. This is 3.7. This is 3. Point, uh, there's actually two right pretty close by, though. Um, I don't know if I could meaningfully combine them. What I could do is actually just put a bunch of miners on both of these and then use conveyors to merge them into some central area where there's a smelting happening here, and then the train runs here to get them. I don't believe that I could use this train track to make it happen, and I don't believe I would even want to. Because... Uh, This is copper. This is like all for copper. Let me see if there's any... Now there's iron here. Oh, there's even more iron right here, actually. Oh, well, that's tempting. Hmm. Now these over here, they're all... All these solar panel guys, they're waiting on wood. Are they waiting on the accumulators, or are they waiting on panels? Oh, you know what's hilarious? No, they're just waiting on the big electric poles. Well, I think I can actually make those. As I make them... My robot should distribute them. Am I no longer on the robot network? Well, I don't know why my robots aren't doing anything. What's going on, robots? Hmm. Are they moving? I have 50 construction robots. What are you doing? Why don't you go do this? I wonder why my personal robots aren't going over there. I have to say I wish you would. Oh no, they must have. Maybe I wasn't building the right thing. 
Oh, I was building substations. That's what it was. They, they are here. I just built the wrong thing because I'm not smart. And I'm not going to get any steel because I'm not making it. That's sad. Oh, no, here it comes. Go. There we go. There we go. Now let's see how this goes. Can they fill it in now? There they go. And we're set. Okay, so I got to automate that so that whenever I build these solar panel fields, they get that done. Now, what do these things take? These take copper plates, steel plates, and iron sticks. Well, I don't need to have a bunch of this. And I've got copper right here and everything else that I need. So I could very easily uh, just go here and build this. as like a one-off almost right here but this one I'm going to have you building big electric poles Okay, and then I'm just going to uh, borrow just a little bit. Of this. So that we can say Thank you very much. And then I'll just put these into a passive provider chest right here. And I don't need a million of these. We're waiting for steel. Well, yes, we are. Steel someday will get down there. These actually aren't even doing anything anymore because I'm not using them and it looks like I filled this up. So we can, you know, maybe get ourselves some more railroad stocked up for the time being. All right. I feel like what's going on right now with me is that I just don't have enough iron ore coming in. And... I can send some over here to help this. There's This train provides a good amount of iron ore. But this one, well, it's just dwindling. Oh my god. And I didn't build any inserters right here. This is pretty funny. Well, it's going to be hard to distribute iron ore if that's happening. All right, there we go. Oh, there's some more. All right, so that was a big inefficiency in our game plan. Um, this is a strange situation. I don't think this will happen too much. Actually, all I have to do to prevent that is just block that. And then it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, let me deconstruct this. As it's doing absolutely nothing anymore. Now, it was providing power, ironically. Okay. Okay. So this is still running out of the bottom line. So let's go fix it. One step at a time. 
I'm foolishly convinced that I, with my exoskeletons, run just about as fast as in my car. Now, anyway, let's talk about this. If I want to go down on the map and build a train station that moves up to here and delivers more ore, how do I do that? Well, I'm going to need a bunch of electric mining drills. As many as I can carry. Well, not that many, but let's have at least 40. I'm going to send it all up as ore, and I'd like to send it to this line is unloading. Is there no... Why is there nothing in these chests? Did it already unload those? I'm going to check out what's going on. Make sure that everything is running smoothly. So first of all, let's just check this. That's full. That's full. Everything is, you know... Unloading. Let's build some more stack inserters. We can easily do that. Let me get back in the robot network so I get topped off. I'm going to start making sure that I... Uh, replace all of these. Alright, there they go. They're doing their thing. Here comes this train. Let me see. Yep, it's full. It's full. Alright. And I don't have to worry too much. This one just... I mean, with these stack inserters, it unloads so quickly. It's crazy. What do I need? Plates? Fine. Here they come to deliver my goods. Alright, and uh, I need more electric mining drills, like I said. How many do I have? 30. I should really automate that. I need more plates. This is ridiculous. I do have plates in the box somewhere, do I not? Maybe not anymore. Alright, there's, there's 40 now. Alright, we're also going to need... A locomotive. I'll bump it up. People were saying four is ideal. That's fine. Four of those. Two train stops. Looking good. Now I could use modules. Speed module. Increase the machine speed. Extra products. Decrease energy. So we could think about modules. For now, let's just get another steel station or iron station going. Okay. I also would like to have as many stack inserters as I possibly could. And it's plates that are the limiting factor for me. That's fine. Right, they're refilling me. Oh gosh, never mind. Let me cancel these. I didn't realize I was waiting on certain basic parts to make it. Yeah, 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 cancel that. Let me get the circuits delivered. So 
So I think if I have four cars and there are six on each side, I need 48 stack inserters to have a perfect ratio. Oh, God. Still making green circuits, huh? Okay. They'll deliver these parts to me someday. I have a bunch of green circuits actually right here in this box. Yeah, this box should be a storage chest. Let me just replace it. There we go. Uh, now that's gears. That's fine. All right, I'm at 36. That's embarrassing, waiting on these gears. Oh, God. Come on, give me gears. I've got to have gears in a box somewhere, don't I? No, I don't have actually gears because I'm not getting enough iron. Oof. It's sad. My main bus of iron. Look at the look at the plates that are coming through. That's just It's bad. It's bad at every level. But I seem to have some extra over here. It looks like it's backing up a little bit. And when I see that, I just say, all right, fine. How many do I really have? You tell me. Go, 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 people. Build it. Um, I need a robo port over here. Okay. They're trying to build this. All right, now let's see. Open that up. There we go. Now, we're not building this because um, these are steel furnaces and I don't have enough. I'll make some more. You better believe I will. I need bricks. Get out of here. Get right out of town with bricks. I must not have bricks. Oh, I do. I thought I just gave myself some. They're going, it's going into my trash, isn't it? Well, that's fine. Here, just here. There you go. Use these. Finish this. Let's see how it's going now. All right. There it goes. There you go. There it is. Okay, now that's completely filled in. Now it's going to, of course, demonstrate that we have a deficiency. Um, I don't think that there's any reason to be just putting this to one lane. I'm going to put it on both. Oh, no, I wasn't putting it into one lane. I was just trying to put it on the top. Right. Okay. 
Well, maybe that'll help. I don't know. You can see we still have a massive problem when we get here. Uh, this should be... Oh, God. There you go. All right. Okay. So now, let's look at myself. I have 41 of these, so I need more of these. God, my gears still aren't getting anything. Hey, where are you? Where are you? Okay. Copper looks good. They're finally starting to get some. Look at that. My steel is actually... The steel is finally backed up. Like I have enough. It's just plates. Alright. So let me see how the iron itself is doing. This, this line right here, this is what needs it. This one. So let's go do it. Let's go get some more. The iron is down here. Is there a car anywhere near here? That's way up there. There's bugs. It's scary. All right. So where do we want this track to go? I'm going to actually try to reuse the track somewhat that's here. Uh, no. Uh, I want you to actually... Yeah, this way. we go let's just stop it here for now and see if I can make this happen all right um, okay so what I'm gonna do is just kind of put down as many of these as I can. Uh-oh. Here we go. Uh-huh. Boy, I completely underestimated how many of these I needed to build. I can get it started, but... I need more. And we're just going to send that out there send that out there and send that out there and then we'll take the train 
Um, I'll continue to build a train station. Down here, and then I'll keep it straight. And um, no, um, I I didn't do this right. I know there's a way to actually do this better. Oh well, I mess this up every time. I know there's a cleaner way to do this, but here's how I'm going to do it. And there it goes. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll, we will create, we'll put the locomotive... Here. And then we'll just kind of put this here. And we'll put down a train stop so that things stop there. That's fine. And one, two, three, and four. That is four cars. So from here, whoops, I don't print, think I, well, maybe I brought enough to make this. We'll see. All right. And then, oh, that was not smart. I need a space for the... You know what I'll do? Let me save myself some time. Let's do this the smart... Well, as smart as I'm going to get way. Okay. So, in this case, what we can have, now there's no power yet, but we'll just put power here and here, and that should do it. And then I'm just going to copy. Like that. Now this isn't great because it's not going to evenly distribute this. Now what I ran out of conveyors. I mean, how about that? What I could do is you like merge them all together with splitters. Right? Um, let's try that. Just as a proof of concept. So what that would look like is... I think...
I would put this here. And then these would get joined. And then I don't have any more. Can I make more? I can. I just have to stand here and make gears, which is painful, but somewhat workable. And then this is coming down here. And then what I'll do is... Um, go like this. Put a splitter here. All right, now these are merged. And I'm going to sh shoot this down like this. Like that. And then... Now I think I've merged all of them into one. That I can push like this now I don't know if this is the best way to do that I'm experimenting with you know just trying to join these two join these two and then join the two of the two joins to here to just make sure that we get all the stuff up here and we have one train stop we haven't completed this track of course um, but we got some in here and uh, what I can do is go to fuel this train needs some fuel, so let me just give it some. Like that. And we need power lines. So I'm going to get in this train. And I'm going to start moving it. Like this. And, oop. Let me stop because what I want to do is I want to run power. I know what I'd need the bigger ones for this. It they would be smarter. Here, let me see how far I can get with these big poles. I'm driving and placing power. And I'm going to get into a, a wreck, invariably. But my robot should kind of go out and place track. This is going to be a slow process. But we can get there. That's wrong. Put it there. Now I'm going to get out. I'm going to zoom out. There we go. That's fine. And look where we are. We're almost there. And what I'll do is when I get here... I'm going to build the parallel tracks, like you guys said, um, so that we can take turns on this track and use, you know, signals to avoid a crash. Or I could just as easily just unload. Like, I could build a, a station that loops, you know, the, the train goes over here, it unloads, and then we just take conveyors to put more iron up here. So we're getting there. I still have a lot of work to do fixing up this um, iron factory, but as always, things, projects emerge, and you know, you start doing things, you just try to do it a little bit better than you did last time. Everyone, thanks so much for watching. Take care.